Better bulls equal more profit. I'm Anthony Carver, UT Extension Agent here in Granger County. I want to talk a few minutes about why bulls are so important. If you look at the picture here, and the picture is the only one that represents a bull, how many bulls do you see in this field? You only see one, don't you? Okay, let's look at this picture. Would you prefer doing cattle business, cattle industry, on your farm without a bull? How many bulls are in this field? Absolutely none. Okay. If bulls are that important, some questions I think we need to ask ourselves is why are we not doing a bull soundness evaluation test every year on that bull? To make sure that his parts are still okay, there's not been injury. Uh, make sure that his semen is still viable and, and ready to work. And why aren't we buying the very best that we can afford? If the bull is half the genetics of your herd, then it just makes sense to buy the very best you can that you can afford. Are we not taking care of him like we should? Uh, is, are we giving him the right nutrition? Is he getting you know the right protection? Are we putting him into a bull lot with four or five other bulls? You know we need to stop and make some sense of some of this. Uh, if that bull is really that important, vaccinations. Are we giving him the best health package that we can? Are we deworming him like we should? There's some things to think in mind to keep in mind if the bull is that important. Weaning weight EPDs. EPD standing for expected progeny differences are so important for cattle producers to understand. Here in East Tennessee we sell our calves at weaning time. So if a producer can increase his weaning weight he will increase the dollars put in his pocket. So let's try to understand these weaning weight EPDs. Weaning weight EPDs measures the differences of what calves will be at weaning time. All right, let's look at this slide. It talks about two different types of bulls. We have bull A with a weaning weight of plus 45, and we have a bull B with a weaning weight of plus 20. Now that's a difference of 25. Now weaning weight is always in pounds. So that if we expose cows to bull A, versus bull B, then the cash from bull A should weigh 25 pounds average hot heavier than calves weaned off of bull B. Now that's a real significant value. Alright, let's see what the value of owning bull A over bull B really is. If bull A gives us 25 more pounds per calf, and we sell the calves at $1.30 a pound, then each calf is going to be worth $32.50 more. Now if we happen to have 30 calves this year, then that's a value of $975 more for a calf crop. Then we go back to the question, which bull should I buy? Well, we've got bull A, that has a weaning weight of 45 pounds, but the seller only wants $2,000. But we've got bull B that has a weaning weight of 20 pounds and is discounted this bull for $1,750. Well, the difference in price is only $250. The difference in pounds per calf is going to be 25 more pounds at weaning for bull A. The difference then per year per calf crop is $975. It just makes more sense to go ahead and pay the $2,000 for bull A in this situation. I'm always asked, can we compare two animals across breeds? And it's very difficult to do that. But finally, they have come up with a, a chart that will help us compare certain breeds. There's different. Eight, there's 18 different breeds on this one chart. And they, they, this chart is called the Across Breed EPD chart. And it's always changing, of course, because EPDs change from year to year. So 
So make sure you're always dealing with the current uh, crossbreed EPD chart whenever you are going to be comparing across breeds. With just some simple mathematics, uh, you can either add or subtract and figure out how to compare one breed to another. In, in one case, maybe Angus versus a Hereford or Charlotte versus a Hereford or something of that nature. But with some simple math skills, you can get that done using a cross-breed EPD chart. In summary, the bull is an extremely important part of any cattle operation. And without the right bull power, you're not going to get the job done. And you're going to leave a lot of money just laying on the table, and it's not going to be in your pocket. So make sure you have the right bull power to do the job.